Hey Cardinals, welcome back to The Nest, and I'm your host, Kayla Trong. On this week's episode, we have an introduction to RLTC's basic training, finding love for City Heights, and travel alongside hidden treasures. Up first, we have Angeles give us a look at what RLTC does to build leaders on and off campus. Hi, my name is Andrews Vargas, and we're here with RTC and the new XO during basic training. The mission right now for basic training is to help all the cadets improve on all the stationary movements, for, ex for example, the basic right phase, left phase, about phase, and marching, all of that. Basic training right now is going actually very well. Right now, cadets are actually getting tested because it's Friday. Every Friday, they get tested on what they've learned throughout the week. What do you do in basic training as XO? Right now, my job is to just walk around, make sure that everyone is doing what they're supposed to do. How do you feel on being the new XO? Right now, being the XO has been amazing. I, I'm learning a lot of new things, and I believe this position is going to make me a better person. To add on to what RLTC does for our students, VNA has an insider on today's Red Couch with our special guest, First Sergeant Mercado. Welcome to today's Red Couch. Joining us today is First Sergeant Mercado from ROTC. What made you become an instructor? Having the opportunity and challenge to deal with tomorrow's future, the youth leaders, that just really excited me. I mean, just to deal with kids that every day get to impact and change their lives or, or give them some type of motivation to, to do better. So it's a super rewarding job. I love it. love every minute of it. Yeah. How long have you been in this position? I have been teaching 17 years now, and of the 17 years, seven of them have been here at Hoover High School. What do you like most about your job? Well, you know, um, every day is a challenge. Um, every day is a reward. I've had students come back and say, hey, Mr. McCardo, First Sergeant, how are you? Uh, this is my life, this is what we're doing, this is what I've done. Um, I just had a student come back yesterday and, you know, she brought her husband back and her child back and I was like, oh my God, wow, you know, it's, it's really cool to see what people have done with their lives after we've impacted and what we've done here. Awesome. What is the purpose of JROTC? Well, the mission of JROTC is to motivate young people to be better citizens. Um, our class, basically, we teach young people um, street classes, we teach them things like conflict resolution, things that they can use in their everyday life activities. So um, I like to think it's a class that kids can say after they graduate, they actually learn something that they can really use. What kind of events or teams do you guys have? Well, you know, this year, uh, Colonel, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Campbell, who's a senior instructor, he just uh, contacted Mr. Babinoff, and we had talked about an archery uh, turkey shoot so we have an archery team that we actually uh, train and teach uh, to compete on campus and to compete in the district. So this year we're opening it to the staff um, to give them an opportunity to come over there, see what we do, join us, um, shoot bows and arrows, and uh, challenge each other as well as challenge the students. Thank you for joining us, First Sergeant. Thank you. Honored and uh, privileged. Thank you very much. That's all for today's Red Couch. Bye. News Entertainment Student Television. We recently had the opportunity to understand what each academy stands for and what makes them special in the eyes of teachers and directors. But now we have senior students on their view and experiences in their academy. Why did you choose this academy? I chose this academy because of my dad. He inspired me to do construction work and because I liked it since I was like a small girl. I chose this academy because it lets me express myself in many ways. I chose this academy because I like learning more about social justice and I thought it would be a great opportunity to learn. I chose this academy because mostly our world is revolving around technology, so AOT was the best fit for me. I always had an interest in the medical field when I was little, and so I figured mainly in the field of psychology, um, 
I just feel like this would help me, you know, develop my interests and help me learn more about the body. What do you like about your academy? I like that we all stick together, we all have fun together, and yeah, that's basically it, that we're a family. I like my academy because they have some great teachers in it, as good teachers. I like the teachers, um, especially Ms. Dodd. Uh, I've been able to like meet most of them, and I think that they together make a great team for this academy. What I like about our academy is that we're with each other and the teachers are very supportive and everybody gets along with everybody else. So that's what I really like about our academy. There's many reasons. For one, I do like the events that we get to do and as well as like the internships or the rotations as we call them because in your junior year of high school, you get to do internships around City Heights and help the community out. Whereas with your senior year, the rotations you do are actually at hospitals. What kinds of things do you do in your academy? Um, we go to field trips like innovation centers. We have parties in which we all the Sabe students gather up and like we have games and that kind of stuff. In our academy we do many art related uh, activities in in the school and outside of school so that's pretty cool. Uh, we do a lot of things but my favorite is the um, ice cream socials. Our academy has a nest which produces news entertainment student television which Hoover students can watch and we also have our annual Sabe versus AOIT kickball game so we do that every year. One thing for sure is that we would attend like events like there was this one event that I went to a long time ago it's called Stop the Bleed. We learned uh, how to use tourniquets. The 70% of students in Sabe have the opportunity to be the future of our generation in building and engineering. Alma has 22% of out-of-the-box thinkers here at Hoover and encourages these students to use their creativity in every aspect. The 25% of students in SJA come to school every day with the mindset to make a difference in our community. AHHC is populated with 22% of students who have hands-on experience on medical-related opportunities and careers. AOIT has 15% of students that like to interact with the world of technology to make our community a better place. Each and every one of us should be proud of the academies that we represent. But remember, we are all cardinals. From pride of school and academies to pride of the neighborhood, Love City Heights paints a bright future. Have you ever wondered about the murals around our community? Like the new mural with the big bear at the 7-Eleven on 35th and University? These amazing works of art are created by the organization Love City Heights. What do you want to establish with Love City Heights? Well, we at Love City Heights are trying to bring uh, arts and culture to the community and be able to uh, create San Diego's first drive-through gallery. Uh, we have been very successful in creating over 20 murals and bringing in local artists, international artists, uh, youth artists, and professional artists uh, to uh, bring their mark into our community. and. With that, we want to empower the community to be able to take back their neighborhood and take pride in what they are seeing, what they have, and be able to take particip and participate in the decision-making process of the community in order for them to receive the resources that they are looking for. What do you hope to accomplish with the organization? Uh, we hope to accomplish uh, a, well, we've accomplished many things already. We have a, a youth program. We have also collaborated with uh, various schools around the district. We have uh, connected with the youth. We have been able to connect with businesses and be able to create more revenue for them. Um, in the future, of course, we want to create more murals and actually finalize our drive through gallery and also continue our yearly event of Love City Heights Day uh, and provide a community that the, the residents uh, want to be a part of. We heard from the founders of Love City Heights, now let's talk to one of the mentors. Why did you want to be a part of Love City Heights organization? 
Um, when Carlos Quesada, the founder of Love City Heights, asked me after a big event that we did, um, he asked me to be the artistic director for Love City Heights and I said yes because I wanted to give back to City Heights where I grew up. Um, you know, it's a, an extension of my passion for art and you know, it's just a different level of organizing within the artistic community. Love City Heights organization positively influences our community as it shows the beauty of City Heights. So next time you walk around City Heights, don't forget to visit one. How can you show your cardinal pride right here on campus? Students can show their cardinal pride by demonstrating passion, resilience, integrity, diversity, and empowerment. Mr. Babineau rewards students for showing their cardinal pride. Cardinals, I'm excited. Here we go. First cardinal pride raffle. We got a lot of cardinal pride cards in here. A lot of you showing your cardinal pride. What are we raffling off today? Hoover merch. Who ride bucks? Use the student sword, of course. Taco shop on me. You ready? Let's go. And Mr. Leva here. You ready? Yeah. What are we giving out? Are we giving out Hoover merch? Are we giving out who ride bucks? Or are we giving taco shop? Let's do it. Cardinal Prime merch. Let's go. Pull it out. Mix it up. He's ready. T. It's. Where's it? Sir B. Nice shop, sir. Oh, she ready. She's ready. All right. Mix it up. Now, what do we? You want to pull one too? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Hoover merch. Who ride bucks or taco shop? Uh, Hoover merch. Let's do it. Hoover merch. And the winner is Alberto Cantu. Nice work, Alberto. We got the champion here. Let's go. What are we giving out? Taco shop. Taco shop. Carne side of fries. That was the most popular last year. He's got it. Kani. Nice work, Kimi. Taco shop on me. Let's do it. Who's the lucky winner? No peeking. There it is. There it is. It's, it's fair here. And the winner is? Sammy. I don't know what that says. Sathong. Sammy. Sammy. Taco shop on me. Dan, you ready? Let's do this. Pick a card. What are we giving out? Uh, taco shop. It's a popular choice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Inquiry there. Inquiry. Who do we have? Uh, Chris. Uh, the Jesus, the name song. 62419 is the ID. Hey, remember, print clearly so we can read your name. Taco shop on me. Here we go. Do you have a Cardinal Pride card in here yet? Nope, not yet. Not yet is the key word. What do you plan to do to show your Cardinal Pride? gonna happen I believe it you're gonna get that card for now let's pick out somebody else we're gonna give out some who ride bucks to be spent at the ASB store for anything that you want in there you ready Alyssa Chavez Alyssa Chavez who ride bucks one of our stellar Cardinals here um, it's quite odd having a look up I'm not gonna lie so this is what it feels like huh this is what it feels like Cardinals okay all right not mad at you what are we giving out taco shop who ride bucks or Hoover merch Let's do it. No peeking. And the winner is? Eileen Zivario. I think that's a good guess. Nice work. Six, two, five, three, two. Gotta be sure. Good job. What are you gonna do to show your common pride? Um, be kind. Love that. Let's all be kind. All right. Hoover merch, taco shop, or who ride bucks? Nice choice. Let's go. Let's pick it out. Um, Denzel Estrada. Denzel Estrada, taco shop on me. How about my main man? What's your name? Long. Let's, how about that sweatshirt right there? Look at that. You've got your Cardinal Pride already. You're ready, Long. Yes. Okay, we're going to give out Cardinal Pride merch because you're representing it right now. Sound good? Sure. All right, let's do it, Long. Pull it out. Read it out to us. Gisela. Raquel May. Nice yeah. work. Cardinal Pride merch. The, the coordinator of Brothers of Excellence. Wednesdays at lunch, NPR. Go join. It's an incredible group of young men. This is an incredible leader on our campus right here. Ask him if you want more questions. Armani, what are we giving out? Who ride bucks? Cardinal Pride merch or taco shop? We're going to give out Cardinal bucks. Let's do it. No peeking. Let's do it. Mixing them up, mixing them up. And the winner is? 
Brooklyn Samaro. Nice work, Brooklyn. Two Cardinals, staples of the nest. Let's go at some taco shop. You pull them? Good mix, good mix. And the winner is... Jamil Kelsey. Hey. Nice work, Jamil. We got another stellar freshman here. Tell us your name, sir. Uh, it's On. On. Let's give out some Cardinal Pride merch on. We got to get the freshman in that Cardinal Pride. And the winner is... Uh, Francisco... Re Rivas. Rivas. Nice work, Francisco. This is the spot right here in the art quad. You're posted up in the shade. I'm envious. I like that. What are, what are we giving out? Uh, Hoover Bucks. Let's do it. Let's do it. Pull it out. And the winner is? Uh, what's that? Christopher Devin Velez. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> so I noticed on my route on the phone, what do you got there on the back of your phone? That pop socket. Pride pop socket. You have one of those? Yes. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I just happened to have some pop sockets here. Somewhere in this pocket. They're here. Boom! Cardinal Pride pop socket. Get it at the ASB store. Okay, what are we giving out? Taco shop. Taco shop. Pull it out. And the winner is? No leapers. Oh, no. There you go. The winner is right behind us. How about that? Taco shop on me. Cardinals, first raffle in the books. Let's keep filling this up by showing your Cardinal pride. When you get a ticket, tear off the affirmation for yourself. Put the raffle ticket in here. It's located in the front office. And let's fill this box up. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Who ride? I'm here with Asa Pinkston, the starter running back on the Hoover Varsity football team. What are your goals for this season? Um, to finish off strong and be a best leader on and off the field. What are your team goals for this season? Um, working together, fighting through everything, and communication. What type of mindset do you guys have for each game? To do the best and be the best, and no matter who's in your way, go through them. Asa, can you inform us of what happened to your arm? Yeah, sure. Um, it happened during practice. We were doing a hitting drill, and when I wrapped up the bag, my hand went back, and it cracked, and I landed on it. Hello, we're here with Jesus Correa, one of the former quarterbacks here in the Hoover football team. Despite our scores, how do you think your teammates improved over the course of the year? Uh, we're scoring more this year and also our program is being ran more professionally, which is a big plus for the seniors leaving and also the juniors getting ready for next year. What are your hopes for your team's improvement in the future? Uh, win some games this year for sure, that's one. Hopefully make playoffs, but then also set a foundation for the future generations of the team. Hi Cardinals, this week's Cardinals Spotlight is Jesus Correa. Danny Correa is described to be resilient by his teachers and a leader by his teammates. Manny is quarterback of the Cougars varsity football team. All his teammates talk about his passion and heart for the game. He's constantly pushing himself to his fullest potential in both the classroom and on the field. In addition, Manny is described to be a young entrepreneur. He has a cleaning and customizing shoe business at JC underscore customs with the K on Instagram. Manny says his plans after high school are to study graphic design and business so he can eventually start his own business. Auditions for getting the chance to be a backup dancer for Jason Mraz, known for his song I'm Yours, are coming up this Saturday, October 5th. Look around at School Flyers and contact the dance club coordinators for more information. If you would like to participate in the homecoming dance parade floats, come on down to room 252 on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays after school. Contact Ms. Brianna and the ASB leaders for more information. Remember that FAFSA or free application for federal student aid opened yesterday, September 30th for seniors. Don't forget to apply for aid to lower and prevent student loans. Along with FAFSA, remember to submit your application for California State Universities as soon as possible. Attention Cardinals, the Metropolitan Transit System, also known as MTS, will be offering a free ride day. This includes buses and trolleys with no hassle and no charge. 
all to promote public transportation. This year, Free Ride Day is also California's Clean Air Day. Along with free rides, MTS will also be giving away free prizes. To get more information, visit www.sdmts.com forward slash free ride day. Welcome back once again to Hidden Treasures. Today, we have the Spanish Village Art Center located in Balboa Park, open every day between the hours of 11 a.m. through 4 p.m. There's also available parking besides the Art Center. The Art Center was originally built in 1935 and it was used in World War II for temporary use. The floors are eye-catching with striking colors which make the buildings thriving into the Latin culture. Hi Cardinals, welcome back to Q and Q. Today's question in the quad is where is your dream vacation? Where is your dream vacation spot? Uh Bora Bora. Why? It's just really pretty and the islands are very, very nice and there's clear blue water. Hawaii. Why? Because it's beautiful. Right. Where is your dream vacation spot? Okay, this is gonna sound kinda lame, but it's the truth, for reals. Um, anywhere that I can go where my kids and my husband are, like where there is a family, is perfect. I don't care where we are, because they're super fun. My dream vacation is Puerto Rico, because uh, I just like wanna see what it's like in Puerto Rico, you know? It's really because it's like peaceful and it's like green and away from people. Um, Barcelona. Why? Because the Sagrada Familia is there and I wanna see it really bad. What is your dream vacation spot? I want to go to Bora Bora on those huts. Just look out, post up, look at the ocean. That sounds amazing. That really does sound amazing. Who ride? Uh, Hawaii. Bora Bora. Uh, Dubai. Dubai. Chicago. Where's your dream vacation spot? Thailand. Why? Because I was born there. Bahamas. Where is your dream vacation spot? A buffet. Bahamas. Hawaii. Where is your dream vacation? My dream vacation will be in Japan, especially in Tokyo since uh, I'm very interested in the culture. Where is your dream vacation spot? My dream vacation spot is Hawaii. Why? Because it just sounds super, I mean it looks, it's really nice over there and it's like a perfect time or a perfect place to relax. As well, why did you walk well with my uncles? My dream vacation is Jamaica. Why? Well, that's because my daughter wants to go to Jamaica for her 15th birthday, so right now I have the task of uh, planning a trip to Jamaica with my 15-year-old daughter and give her the vacation of her, um, of her life. Where is your dream vacation spot? Bora Bora. Jamaica. Yeah, man. <laughs> I want to go to Puerto Rico. Jamaica. Ghana. <laughs> Ghana. Hey Cardinals, thanks for staying tuned for this episode of Q&Q. Hope you guys get to see those vacation spots. Stay healthy. Keep those grades up. Hoorah! That's all we have for today's nest. We hope everyone is kind to one another. And remember, Wednesdays are awesome. <laughs>